bunch of these two together because I think they're two of the most underpaid players in the league. Stephen Curry. And you might laugh, $51.9 million for the 2023-24 season. And bear in mind, I'm doing this just for next season's salary, not anything more. So if you're contracted for multiple years, I'm just taking next season into account. Steph Curry, $51.9 million. When we, when we talk about transcendent players, when we talk about a Steph Curry who is a top 15 player of all time, who is a top two point guard of all time, you're not just taking the on-court into account. You have to take the off-court, the marketability that he provides the Warriors, the financial advantage that he provides the Warriors, and that's probably most evident in the value of the team since he arrived or when Joe Lacob took over to what it is estimated to be now. And so not only is he providing the Warriors an invaluable amount from an off-court perspective, I mean, there probably is a value to it, but it would be millions nearing on billions, but you've also got Steph Curry, who I think is still a top three player in the league, in my opinion. And I think a lot of people would hold that opinion as well. I think Jokic deserves to be number one, no doubt about that. And then I think I think I would pick Giannis second. And so when you take everything into account, the off-court, the on-court, and also the fact that NBA players, as I said with Jalen Brown, like there is a maximum amount of money that NBA players can make. Steph Curry, even at 35 years of age, is still underpaid at $51.6 million for next season. And I still expect him to be one of the best players in the league next season. Obviously, his credentials, his legacy is solidified, but to think about the fact that he is still one of, I think, the most underpaid players in the league from a total package perspective, it's pretty wild to think about and is another point towards his greatness, really. The other warrior who is heavily, heavily underpaid is Kavon Looney. So I actually looked this up for an article earlier today. Kavon Looney is projected to be the 195th highest paid player next season and the 32nd highest paid center next season. That is ridiculous. Now, his three-year $22.5 million contract that he signed last offseason as a free agent, I think we all thought at the time, yeah, that's a really good contract for the Warriors. But the way he performed last regular season and in the playoffs only cemented that further. And just to put it into context, like, unequivocally, this is not with my Warrior hat on, this is just undisputed. Kevon Looney outplayed DeMontis Sabonis across a seven-game playoff series. He just did. There's no doubt about that. DeMontis Sabonis just signed a five-year, $217 million extension with the Sacramento Kings. I'm not saying Kevon Looney's a better player whatsoever than DeMontis Sabonis. DeMontis Sabonis is a far better player. I'm not trying to compare Kevon Looney with anyone that's worth in excess of particularly $200 million, probably anyone in excess of $100 million, although you could say that Kevon Looney uh, would be far more valuable to the Warriors this upcoming season than what Jordan Poole would be or, or something like that, not to throw more shade at Jordan Poole. Um, I really, we need to stop talking about him, I think, just as a, a Warrior fan base and anyone involved with the franchise, really. But Kevon Looney is... W- on one of the most team-friendly contracts in the NBA. There is little doubt about that. So they're the top two. The clear underpaid, there's no question marks about it, in my opinion.